Mark Medina, he uh, covers the Lakers for the L.A. Daily News. He's kind enough to join us on short notice with all the drama going on there today. Where do we start, Mark, with this story of D'Angelo Russell and Swaggy P? Well, this video uh, that D'Angelo Russell secretly recorded in a hotel room, it's not clear when exactly that happened. Basically, the conversation entailed D'Angelo Russell asking Nick Young about, uh, you know, some of his history with some past women. And Nick Young admitted that he had slept with a 19 year old this past summer. He's 30 years old. He just got engaged to a Biggie Azalea. So you can kind of connect the dot. And, uh, somehow it ended up on social media last Thursday. You know, at least from my end, I didn't really cover it because it's something beyond, you know, the realms of basketball, but. You know, once uh, it started getting word that it's been affecting the locker room, it's almost inevitable that uh, you start addressing this kind of situation. What do you expect today? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, the the Lakers have said that Nick Young has been sick with a stomach bug for the past two days, but he or past two games, but he hasn't even played in the last ten games uh, because of healthy scratches. So I don't even know if he's going to be around the team. But this isn't even an issue just between D'Angelo Russell and Nick Young. You know, I think that obviously this speaks to that unwritten code that you don't, you know, address someone's private life in a public manner, especially with whatever athlete's lifestyle that entails. And so this is an issue that affects, you know, how D'Angelo Russell's teammates view him and if they can trust him. And when you're the star point guard, the number two pick, and perceived to be the future of this franchise, uh, that's a huge problem. It feels like this roster is going to turn over next year, and you're only going to have a couple of guys who are there now. But you, you know, D'Angelo Russell is not expendable. Nick Young is. Um, I don't know what that means as this team moves on. If you have free agents, do they want to play with him? Like, how how big does it get after this season? you got eight more games left. They can sort of survive this. But what do you do in the offseason and next year? Yeah, I mean, that's a great point. They can survive the Nick Young situation because I don't think he's perceived as being part of the team. He's under contract. They've been trying to trade him for a while now. But this issue goes beyond Nick. I mean, this is how teammates view D'Angelo Russell, not just ones on the team, but for the future. And, you know, without knowing private lives of different athletes, I think it's fair to say that most of them have that option of seeing women, uh, you know, on the side. And, if they view D'Angelo Russell as a guy that they can't trust, you know, I think it definitely affects what they do with free agency. So I want to say that D'Angelo Russell isn't expendable. Oh, all right. Uh, it, who, who would you rather talk to today if I gave you your choice? D'Angelo <laughs> Russell, Iggy Azalea, or Nick Young? Well, Iggy Azalea seems to have a lot more to say. Um, she tweeted late last night that she actually liked D'Angelo Russell's video, so I think that she might have some things on her mind that she wants to share. I don't know to what degree D'Angelo Russell and Nick Young are going to go into detail with this, but it sure sounds like Iggy has a lot to say about it. But is there a shoot-around this morning? Yeah, they usually have a shoot-around, um, but it's, it's hard to know if, if any of the players are going to address it. A lot of the times, uh, they're not even available during that time, so it might be a just a situation where we're talking to Lakers coach Byron Scott. I, I, I've been reading quotes that D'Angelo Russell is is very immature, that he's a 20-year-old mm-hmm. who can act like he's 14. You're around this team. Is, is he somebody that the Lakers are truly going to invest in and they see the potential and potential maturity with him? Or is there a concern now, aside from this, Mark, is there a concern about his maturity and his uh, uh, head on straight to be able to be their point guard? Well, I think that there there were definitely concerns about his maturity, and I think that's uh, complicated that debate. Uh, you know, from going back to earlier in the season, where should he be the starter? Should he be playing minutes? Uh, the, the criticisms that Byron Scott would say about him wasn't just something that was coming from him. This is something that a lot of the people around the team, you know, coaching staff, trainers, even some teammates would, you know, address and think it was an issue. But at the end of the day, they saw that, hey, he's 19 years old, now 20. He does have a lot of talent and potential. But, again, I think that this incident kind of complicates him. You know, to be quite honest, it's really hard to say at this point. But, you know, even before this uh, incident came up, there were definitely concerns about 
where his head was at and his practice habits. Have fun today and tonight, Mark. <laughs> they they always keep it interesting, yeah. especially when it doesn't involve basketball. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Mark Medina. He covers the Lakers for the LA Daily News. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.